tutorial I will tell you a bit more about events. My boat is just in the pre-start here getting ready to start so I will enter a sales up event. At this stage the sales up were main number one and Hetzel J1 and modify and that appears in the phases and events table. I'm going to have to go around all the track and do this for every change of sales. Here we get to the dog leg top mark here and obviously we probably put a spinnaker up so I'll remove the J1 and this time add an A1. Getting about all the way down to the bottom of the course we get at the uh, bottom mark whether it was a gate or not. Once again change of sales, remove the spinnaker and put the J1 again. Now, now every time I move my boat around, I put it somewhere else. At the bottom, you know every time what cell was on. This will also appear in all your phases, so that's quite important. I'll show you other types of events. Very important one is the perf values. These are the manually entered variables which we, you have defined in your config file, such as C state, weight position, stacking, dagger board, water ballast. These are the ones I have, but you may have uh, decided to create any other ones. So I can set my C state to zero, stacking was in position three. Dagger boards were all the way down because we're going upwind and water ballast was empty. And there it is, it appears there. Other events, a technical problem. This, if you, if you put a technical problem event, it will appear in the reports. Uh, electronics, um, comments, ran out of battery for on deck screen. Other events, photo events. This allows you to ping a moment that a photo was taken and this will appear with performance values in a photo report. So at that stage we took a photo of the mainsail. I'm going to add a comment. Needs more luff curve. Here's my photo event. And then you can also add a balance. When the boat felt good compared to competition, you might want to say there was a good balance. So select your balance type. It was good balance going fast. This will also appear in different reports. And this is a way of uh, pointing special places that you want to get back to and understand why you were going good or not. Last event that I'm going to tell you about is the miss event, which allows you to, answer, to enter any kind of, of data. And here I will type overlaid top mark. As well, this will come in the reports. Right, this, this is for all the events. Once you've done that, it's very important to save an event file so that next time you rerun the race replay with the same log file, you just you will you won't have to re-enter all this data. You will just have to say load event file. So I'm going to do this now. File save event file and put it in here. My convention is usually I put the boat name and the dates in reverse .ev.xml and save and that's now saved. Last um, thing you might want to enter in the tools you can enter boat day settings and this is quite important because it will characterize your day. So location, my boat, and the date, location here in this case was in Palma. Uh, date type we were actually racing, it was an intro race and description of the boat day was race race one, there was two this day. Crew weight, extra weight you might want to add as well. Click done. And finally daily comments. Now this allows you to enter a number of comments. Day goals, well when race one, date comments, we came second. And then you can also add a number of comments, more technical, such as performance, balance, comments on the sales, uh, on the rig appendages, weather, you might have a weather forecast, weather comments, calibration comments, and uh, a calibration quality out of five, electronics, and a number of other ones. Technical problems already has the uh, technical problem that we entered here. You might want to add other things. So that's a nice way to get a uh, to-do list for uh, maybe the short team if you happen to have one. Click OK on this and once again save the event file. And that will close this tutorial.